Stay beautiful, brothers and sisters. See if I'm actually live. Not quite yet. I'm live. Welcome, everyone. I'm just making this live video. Um, let's just see if um, you can see me on Facebook. And if you can see me, oh, amazing. Please, could you let me know if you can see this message, um, beautiful brothers and sisters? So um, I haven't really done a Facebook Live for a very long time, but I was guided today to um, pull a card, um, just to give us the uh, eagle's perspective on the energies of today. So there are obviously times like this are very, very divisive and politics by its very nature is, is dualistic and divisive. We all know that. We all know that the red and the blue and the left and the right are, are the same wings of the same bird. We all know that. No one is sitting here saying that um, a certain person is a messiah. I mean, that is just the biggest load of bullshit I've ever heard in my life. Pardon my, my swearing. But there's like there's so much um, commentary going on in social media today. And I just want to offer my Libran balanced perspective with regards to uh, what is playing out. And um, so just to offer a little bit of context, this is a really, really short video, but um, a few months ago, I received a spontaneous channeled message from Mr. T, one sec. And um, and I hadn't had any contact with him for many, many, many years. And, um, and in the message, he was like, Jen, I'm going to give you proof that this is, uh, you will be sent proof to, to prove the efficacy of this communication. And then what happened was, was that it actually turned out to be on his birthday that this information came through. And it was all about the election. It was all about like basically saying that, um, that it's, it's in the bag, like he is going to win the election. It's written in the stars. And, um, and he, he basically said that um, what was the main things that a about the med beds they're going to be coming in and there was one other really important point I have to go back to my notes to find out what it was but this sort of like put, brought me back into the, that kind of conversation I wasn't interested in that conversation at all because in a way when I was with Liam Liam was the one that was really really obsessed with Mr T I'm just very I'm just not like that a politically orientated person and so I don't really have that much interest in that in that arena per se because I don't necessarily believe it is the solution to fix humanity's problems. But anyway, that being said, I got this spontaneous um, uh, channel channeled message from Mr. T and um, and I, I'll have to go and find it and, and actually read it again and um, see, see what the message is. But then um, a week later, I went to Brighton and I, and I met this woman in this place where I always go. And she was wearing a MAGA hat and it, she was this black woman from New York. And um, and I said to her, I was like, oh, wow, that's a bit of a synchronicity. Like You don't see people in Brighton wearing MAGA hats. And um, she, she was like, oh, I love Mr. T. Oh, you know, she said, I know him. I met him in, in New York in the 70s. She said, no one knows what he did for the black people in the 70s. She said, that man is a hero. She got really, really emotional, like talking about him. So I was like, wow, that's an amazing synchronicity that I've actually met someone who has met him in the 70s in New York and has, has had close proximity with him. Um, so that, again, was like proving these um, these messages that I got. So that aside, I, I knew that he was going to win because I had absolutely no doubt of the efficacy of that channeled message. But when I found out this morning that he won, I was really, really, really happy about that because I really deeply believe that that good things are coming for humanity now. And I'm going to pull a card. Now let's, so this is from the Mystics Imaginary, and this is the best oracle deck I've ever worked with in my life. And I happen to have designed it, and Steph has designed the um, the images. But this oracle deck is absolutely next level. This has raised the bar on oracle decks. You know, this this is a teaching, a spiritual ascension teaching aid and guide. It's not just like, oh, yeah, you know, you're going to blah, 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 love and this, that and the other. No, no, no. The These cards will actually get into your consciousness and um, completely upgrade your consciousness. So let's pull a card for today's energies. Um, obviously, today is a really, really significant day. And actually, guys, something really, really bad happened to me yesterday, which I'm not going to go into details about. But I had a confrontation with the deep state and um, they they tried to mess with me. And 
obviously they didn't, but they they certainly tried. And um, I won't go into details about it, but um, the fact that such an extremely dark, extremely dark negative thing happened to me yesterday, um, I knew that something good is coming because the universe has always got to stay in balance. So the fact that I had that, obviously great things are happening. So I'm going to pull a card. So let's all just focus on this card. And just, let's just see what card wants to come out. And this is going to give us a perspective on, on what's happening in the world stage, um, like in these new energies. So I'm going to pick a card. In fact, I'm going to pull the 11th card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Here we go. Reclaim your remembrance. Beautiful card, isn't it? Okay, so that's card number 44. Oh, it's the last card in the deck, guys, 44. So that feels very, very significant that I've pulled the last card in the deck. It feels like that is symbolic of the ending of a timeline that we've we've culminated in the completion of a low vibrational timeline. That is what I read from the fact that we've pulled the 44th card. So I'll go to page 44 and um i will read it but please guys if you're watching this video please could you let me know how this message is landing with you uh, let's activate the algorithm this is going to be a really really positive message i've literally got seven more minutes and i've got to go but let's read this card reclaim your remembrance you have become so involved in the belief that you are man that you have forgotten the glorious being that you are and we're going to relate this to what's going on in in the world today Card 44 delivers a profound and uplifting message. You have become so invested in the belief that you are a man that you have forgotten the glory that you are. Now with your memory restored, decree the unseen to appear and it shall appear. This final card in the deck is a beautiful reminder of your true essence, one that transcends the limited beliefs and false notions that the world may have imposed upon you. Drawing this card is an invitation from your higher self to reclaim your divine remembrance as a fractal of God's source energy. It urges you to... <laughs> To hold within your sacred consciousness the awareness that the world is at your command. It underscores the profound truth that if God could manifest in physical form, it would mirror your reflection when you gaze into the mirror. This card celebrates your divine nature and recognises your unique place in the grand tapestry of existence. So already this card is, is telling us that there's no Messiah, like the I am presence within each of us is the author and architect of our reality. And so... What I'm picking up from this card is that the energies are, are, are going to be shifting, that are going to be taking away um, a lot of the collective challenges that were keeping us like stuck in the lower vibrational timelines, such as excessive taxes, the cost of living crisis, um, like really, really, really bad health care, like all, all of these these aspects in society have been keeping everyone like pushed down but from the message of this card I'm getting a sense that those um oppressive notions or oppressive aspects are going to be removed that is going to enable us as humanity to look in the mirror and recognize our true spiritual power this isn't about going oh yeah one man is going to save us like who thinks that who believes that that is just ridiculous that is old earth energy new earth energy understands that particularly our community we are part of the 144,000 returned warriors of light we have come back to reset this planetary system and activate the ascension of this planetary system now According to my intel, Mr. T is part of the 144,000 and he's wearing this, this leadership hat in the interim period as we transition from old earth to new earth. It's very important that we understand in the new earth energies, leaders are going to become obsolete because we are all fractals of God's source energy. Our own heart is guiding us and leading us. We don't need leaders. We definitely don't need leaders in the, in the new earth. But we are transitioning at the moment from the old earth to the new earth. And so therefore it is appropriate to have leaders that are aligned with the um, enlightened humanity, with humanity which wants to see um, um, a leaders that want to see humanity really, really thrive and become one with their highest God self. And I believe that this administration is going to work towards that purpose. When you pull this card, it is an invitation to embrace the remembrance that you are a physical embodiment of God's source energy. It encourages you to revel in this knowledge and to recognize the incredible power and potential that resides within you.
This card is a testament to your magnificence and a reminder that you possess the innate ability to, to decree and manifest the unseen into your reality. It is an affirmation of your divine identity and a call to celebrate the truth of who you are, a physical actualization of God's source energy. There is absolutely nothing in the world that you cannot manifest. You are a spiritual being living in a spiritual world. It is only a program that puts forth the idea that this is a physical solid matter. This is physical solid matter. Everything is vibration. Everything is energy. You as a source being have the power to call forth absolutely everything and anything from the highest spiritual realms. Meditate deeply on this knowing and use your power wisely. So by pulling this card, this isn't like saying, okay, guys, just let's project it all onto, onto Mr. T. No, 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 no. We are each the authors and the architects of our reality. So if you sit there like Mrs. Doom and Gloom, like so many people are on social media, so-called spiritual leaders are just like filled with doom doom and gloom well guess what you're going to be orchestrating and activating that reality through the fact that you are writing that you are sending out the, the magnetic energy to call in that experience to your reality that's not my reality I believe that we have woken up to a new dawn and that this is all part of the powerful prophecy of this 24,500 year cycle as we move from the age of Kali into the age of Aquarius there is going to be a threshold moment I believe that this could easily possibly be one of those very 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 significant threshold moments but it requires all of us to hold the line now brothers and sisters and to really really step up with our spiritual maturity and understand the power that we each hold to activate and and um ground eden into this planetary grid and then and then the moment what when it's done when when eden has grounded and the new earth has fully fully landed then we will go on to the next mission but we have returned here as the warriors of light to assist in this planetary ascension this grounding of the of the divine sacred new earth codes that are, that is going to create a society of health abundance well-being happiness bliss ecstasy divine union like that's why we're here we wouldn't be here like if we weren't going to be part of this breakthrough and so surely let's all get behind this this is this is a great thing for our world because if we look at the last four years it has literally been atrocious the cost of living in in england is out of control every time you go to the supermarket everything is just going up and up and up like on average now it's cost like three pound fifty i eat sourdough bread it costs three pound fifty for a loaf of sourdough bread be that in tesco's be that in sainsbury's before it used to be one pound for, for, for a loaf of bread that just shows you the cost cost of living crisis this has all been designed to keep us oppressed, but we now have a, a brand new opportunity. Let's collectively write this beautiful brand new script. Let's all remember how powerful we are and um, let's hold the line now. So I'm gonna go, beautiful brothers and sisters, please share this video far and wide. Um, I'll post the link to, to um, connect with the Mystics Imaginarium. This is the greatest Oracle deck I have ever, ever worked with. And I collect Oracle decks. I have over 50 sets of Oracle decks and I have never ever worked with a deck that literally changes and transforms your spiritual vibration this deck is so powerful that i'm writing a novel um to highlight the the potency of this deck which i'm going to be turning into a film so watch this space brothers and sisters um i love you all i've got to go namaste please could you share this video and like comment and subscribe subscribe just share thank you namaste